I want every northern maester to scour their records for any mention of Dragonglass. Dragonglass kills white walkers. It's more valuable to us now than gold. We need to find it, we need to mine it, we need to make weapons from it. Everyone, aged 10 to 60, will drill daily with spears, pikes, bow and arrow. It's about time we taught these boys of summer how to fight. <laughs> Not just the boys. We can't defend the North if only half the population is fighting. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one is questioning... And I don't need your permission to defend the north. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy and girl on Bear Island. While we're preparing for attack, we need to shore up our defences. The only thing standing between us and the Army of the Dead is the wall, and the wall hasn't been properly manned in centuries. I'm not the king of the free folk. But if we're going to survive this winter together... Yeah. You want us to man the castles for you? Aye. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardholm. The closest castle to Hardholm is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. If they breach the wall, the first two castles in their path are Last Hearth and Carhold. Well, the Ambers and the Carstarks betrayed the North. Their castles should be torn down with not a stone left standing. The castles committed no crimes. And we need every fortress we have for the war to come. We should give the Last Hearth and Carhold to new families, loyal families who supported us against Ramsay. Aye. The Umbers and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. I'm not going to strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty? The punishment for treason is death. Small John Umber died on the field of battle. Harold Carstark died on the field of battle. They died fighting for Ramsay. Give the castles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. When I was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, I executed men who betrayed me I executed men who refused to follow orders. My father always said, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins, and I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision, and my decision is fine. Net Umma. Alice Karstark. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield. I ask you to pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark, to serve as our bannerman, and come to our aid whenever called upon. It's done. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. The North needs to band together. All the living north. Will you stand beside me, Ned and Alice, now and always? Now and always. <laughs>